hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while sorry i have not been able to upload any video for a while uh, i was very very busy and i occupied with some other things so guys so today we're going to do a structure that we use to design your dress or a top okay so i'm using dumb face uh, satin material and crumbling we're going to need bony as well so the 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 wideness of this fabric is um five inches so when you fold it you're going to have 2.5 so we're going to use the 0.5 to sew for the seam okay and so this is two in the crowley that i'm using is two inches yeah so so that it will fit inside the the sewing stuff so now when you fold it right side facing each other then you place the crumbling like this just leave just a little bit we're going to sew on so we fold it like this you place this okay 40.5 inches and uh, 5 inches for this longest one you can make long one, you can make short one. So this short one is five inches by five inches wide and um twenty eight inches long. So the one I did before is the same thing but it's shorter. This one is twenty five inches long. Okay, so you have to cut the same crawling that will fit in the same size, but the Crawling is going to be like a half inches shorter than the fabric. So right now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I will be right back. So I'm going to sew it through the 0 0.5 inches and I'm going to place this crawling on top of where the seam is. But you need to leave a little space here like uh, 0 0.2 here. Or 0 0.1 for just room to turn it okay so I'm going to place this like this and I'm going to run a stitch just a little stitch just take a little this line on crawling you take a little line and run a stitch through this to the edge so after that before you sew it you have to sew this um, sew it like this from the edges here okay you sew it from the edges here this 2.5 you sew two inches then you turn it you turn your sewing stuff and the machine and sew the so guys i just sewed the the crinoline with the on the fabric here so I just sew one side here. Yeah? So we're going to turn it out. Okay. So this is the other one. I sew one side. Look at it. Yeah. So now we're going to turn it out. I know it, this is going to be a little bit um, challenging, but we we'll do it. Okay. So I just need to. This is how you turn it out. Okay. It's very easy. So you just use your thumbnail. So it's like thumbnail to. To push it inside then you can use whatever you have like long stack this crochet uh, stitch i'm having so this is how you turn it in you see how easy it is so you bring it, bring it out from the other side like this it's a bit difficult so you have to do it gently okay not to rip it so when we turn it out like this so we're going to iron it. So after ironing it, we're going to run a stitch like um, take the measurement of your boning. This is 0 0.5, half in, half an inch. Okay. So you're going to like run a stitch, two lines, one like this, one like this, so that we can put this through it. Okay. So you're going to run a stitch here, two lines all the way okay so because this one is 0 0.5 is half an inch so we're going to cut the same size 
and slot it in. So I'm going to turn this the same thing, then I will run the stitch. Okay, I'll be right back. Trim is big, okay. You can just trim it off. Just trim it. Okay. So this is how you turn it. Just put a stick inside and there we go. Okay. Look, it looks nice. Can I use to do something else? I'm playing. So guys, this is it. It's all ions. So guys, this is it. Everything is ions. So now I'm going to run a stitch as I said before. I'm going to run two line stitch. So you're going to leave the space a space between 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So one year, one year, two line stitch. So this you're going to cut the same length of this. Um, you can put put this at the middle okay if you don't want to put uh, at the both sides so only one way we do the work so let's see that i'm going to run a stitch here and run a stitch so i'm going to decide this at the middle so guys let's go and do it so you're going to cut the same length of the this is elastic bone it's very easy to sew in so guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed let's grow this channel together so we're going to be giving them back to back to back so this is it it's forming already look at it oh wow so i'm going to place it on the mannequin and let's see how it goes so i'm going to put this in this one okay let's see and guys if you want to like make it more um, attractive you can you can stone the you can add more design to it or stones so guys this is it it's all done so i'm going to place some mannequins so you can see how it comes out and i'm still going to make another video when i'm placing it online okay. and guys i'm going to show you on my next video how i manipulate it on the dress or on the top okay don't forget to like this video comment subscribe if you've not subscribed Thank you for watching my videos and God bless you. See you some other time. Bye. See how beautiful it is. Yeah. And this one, you can do this like this on the design on your dress. So you just play, you just have to play with it. When you play with it, you will see a better outcome. Okay.